So a few months back I actually made a video explaining which power supplies to get and how to go about picking it. But I never really explained what the dangers were if you picked a bad power supply or just general dangers around computer electronics. So today on Supermodel we're going to go ahead and explain some dangers. <laughs> Hey guys, Supermod here back with another video and well, I guess this video had to come eventually in terms of when you're modifying computers. Now I bought this upon myself and I guess I should have taken some proper precautions. But before we get into what we've done today, essentially we're here with a few safety tips and tricks when actually modifying your own computers. Now modifying computers and playing around, building them and just pulling them apart, all that can be really, really fun. But you do need to remember that you're playing with electricity essentially and electricity can well, kill you and being dead isn't really that good. So when modifying your computers and stuff like that, there's a few things you do need to take into consideration. Number one is where you're actually working. I always say work on an anti-static workspace like a table, for example, rather than on a bed or on some carpet or even on your lap. But there are people out there who don't do that. So try and find yourself either an anti-static mat that can be picked up on somewhere like eBay or a large desk like what I have that is for computer stuff and has a big anti-static cloth over the top of it which is kind of recommended as static can either kill your computer or cause other things in the computer to possibly kill you. Next, don't have drinks with you because, well, drinks tend to have water in them or some sort of fluid which will go ahead and zap your computers and kind of just some common sense thing. And also too, in terms of common sense, if you go ahead and have exposed wires, go and tape them up with something like electrical tape or something very similar because, well, electricity, again, can actually kill you. And something that I always need to have on hand is a fire extinguisher. As well, in today's video, we almost had to use it because of an exploding power supply, which we'll get to in just a moment. And then finally, again, proper tools, as I always say, that are properly made and not gonna fall apart and electrocute you. Now, the reason why we're here is because I was working on the steam box, getting it all finalized for some shooting on the weekend, and it turns out we blew up the power supply. I still have no idea what caused the power supply to explode, but it actually went ahead and did. Now, I'm not sure whether it was my fault, I still haven't pulled it apart and it still smells terrible, but it did go ahead and explode in the video clip I'm going to show you in just a moment was kind of the second of it exploding and then after it because, well, I was holding my video camera and it turns out I pushed the record button as the buzzing got really, really loud and then went ahead and exploded. So I didn't get everything that happened, but to the lead up to it, essentially what I was doing was testing the LEDs throughout the system and some other fans and I'm guessing something short circuited and went ahead and blew out that power supply. So we'll cut to that clip and then get to what is actually happening in this video. Oh. Okay. Well, mm, words, words, uh, um, right. That's, that's a dead power supply. I don't know how much uh, smoke you can see, but it smells kind of bad. Um, so I'm gonna open the window and leave for a little bit till it clears up. Okay, so it has been some time and this is like completely unexpected. I didn't expect to do this kind of a video, but um, I don't know what it has exploded in there, but as you saw by the plume of magic blue smoke, I have a strong feeling this power supply is dead and I'm not really willing to actually go ahead and see if it, well, kind of is dead. So, um... Mmm, no warranty on that power supply either, so I guess we'll grab another one and sleeve that up, but, um, yeah, also, too, when I flip that power off, just keep in mind, I had my foot down here on this power board, um, so that power was already off, I just flipped this switch for no reason other than to have it turned off, so, um, yeah, if that happens, don't do that. Also, too, we have a fire extinguisher, so it's all good if there was a fire, so, um... So with that clip out the way, essentially I am at kind of a loss at the moment. I do have other power supplies on hand that I can easily sleeve in a few hours and get the steam box all done again. So I don't really have a problem with that. My problem is the actual wattage. It turns out that whatever power supply that was, I believe it was 500 watts, can't actually deliver 500 watts. And this is a good warning for anyone with one of these OEM style power supplies. If you know me in person or just know me at all, chances are you've heard me say that you should always get a better quality power 
supply because you don't want it exploding and well I guess today is a good example of one going ahead and exploding. Now I'm not saying Thermaltake is a terrible company in making this, um, it's not a terrible company at all, I have plenty of Thermaltake power supplies deployed and haven't had a problem with them. But the problem is the OEM quality, it's not really the best out there, something like an aftermarket power supply would definitely be a lot better option and I guess we're going to have to move to that or find something with a lot better quality. Now if your PC currently does have one of these OEM power supplies, don't fret, it's not going to explode like what happened here, but you do need to take into consideration what you can actually do to go ahead and take steps against that. Don't go putting extremely high powered hardware in the system that just can't supply the power because either it's going to short out and do something crazy or just not flat out work. So I guess you could take away from this video is basically be careful when tinkering around with electricity. Yes, it's really fun to do and I kind of do it on a daily basis and chances are lots of you guys also too do it on a daily basis, but just be careful as electrocutions can occur and also too parts can go ahead and explode in your face. Lucky enough for me, I didn't get electrocuted and well, I guess that's actually a really lucky thing and overall you could have possibly died if you were in this situation and were touching the power supply. I do have to also to make a note that this whole experiment was done on a separate circuit of the house and a separate power board and a separate kind of everything was separate to the rest of the house so no other damage occurred to any other electrical devices within the house and I can report that the motherboard and rest of the actual steam box is okay so for me I got out really lucky but for lots of other people out there who have had power supplies die essentially you could take down your whole system with you so saving a few bucks on that power supply might cost you the whole of your system so you might just want to keep that in mind. On that note guys like or dislike the video accordingly let me know if you've had any of your own explosive stories also to uh, give us a sub if you like what we're doing and make sure you stay safe when modifying computers and just building computers in general because it can get really dangerous. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thanks for watching.